All right, stop number three, Freeride World Tour here. Kicking Horse Golden BC is confirmed for tomorrow, February 12th, and this one is the cut. So riders under a bit of pressure to perform on the face. Let's see what the riders had to say about how they're feeling about the cut. So the cut is uh, the moment of the winter when the first rider are going to the final and the rest is going back on the qualifier or doing something else. So it's a really stressful moment for everyone, I think, because uh, we are kind of all in the bubble. For me, it's a special situation because I have a lot of pressure to get in that cut. Uh, I guess I've always been aiming high and like to end up on top of the podium and that's what I need to do tomorrow as well. Conditions always change just the way you plan your runs, how you look at the face, what you think is the best way to go and what features to hit and I think that's uh, what makes free riding so interesting. You have to adapt to the conditions. We got the team from Guru on site and they put on a yoga class for all of the riders to help get their minds and bodies centered and ready to go for competition. And the breathing is always helpful. I think I struggle a lot with that um, and just like trying to focus because I'm constantly like brains going a million miles a minute. I've never done yoga before. Uh, Maybe I'll do it again, we'll see. It was nice just to kind of hang out and not really focus on anything. Um, just kind of be there and chill. A fundamental side is pretty tough just because you're in your own head about your line, thinking if what you picked is good enough and if you're gonna find your spots and all of that, but once you're skiing it, it's pretty easy. In a wild turn of events, local former Freeride World Tour athlete Tom Piper has received a wild card into the event. Excited to see how Tom goes here on the face. The tour awarded me a wild card for the stop and I'm super excited to be back here. I feel a little rushed, but at the same time, it is an event wild card, so I'm feeling a little more relaxed. I've competed on this venue before, so I have a rough idea of what it's gonna feel like. I feel bad for everyone else, but <laughs> it'll be fine. Well, friends, as you know, things change quickly in the mountains. The ozone face got absolutely scoured yesterday by the wind, so we are switching gears and looking for another option. We're on hold here for the moment, but we are searching the area for another venue option that's going to be viable and most importantly, is going to be safe for the riders. For the last 25 years, the decision on holding an event or not is first of all on the uh, safety criteria and then on the number of lines so that you can have a proper contest with a ranking that makes sense in terms of Sport. Well, after looking at the face again today, uh, the riders gathered up to have a chat because the conditions are not good enough to compete on. A lot of people wanted to go and especially the ones that are out of the cuts, but it is too dangerous right now and it's not enough lines. Like the snow is not good enough and providing enough space for us to have different lines and to have a good run. We're doing a quick little switcheroo. We got a new face over here. It's actually a really fun spot. There's lots of good jumps and stuff. Yeah, stoked to find some good runs. Yeah, it's a quick turnaround, but I think the face looks a lot better, more skiable, less dangerous, because the snow hasn't been like totally fucked oops, uh, by uh, the wind. And I feel more confident to have an event on that venue compared to Ozone. Let's play with the plan B. Let's play with the plan B. We're going to drop a forerunner and one down the right who's going to take a couple airs, show you what some of the landings looking like. Oh my god. He's like better than a lot of them. It's sugary and deep. <laughs> so if you want to take air, try to go further. So we are confirmed. This is T1 South. Super Bowl is the area and we're go for tomorrow. That's February 12th. Stop number three of Kicking Horses on.